from the top. Born and born. I was born and born. <laughs> yeah, no, I was. I was born in and raised in born. Spent 19 years of my life in born. And then I moved out here into Wareham and have been living here for about a year. And yeah, so I had mom, dad, little sister. She's two years younger than me. Like the earliest I can remember, my dad worked, my dad worked nights. My mom um, worked a cleaning lady job. And <clears throat> I, I remember often like going to the houses with her and my sister and like we just sit watching the TV um, as as she would clean the houses. Honest memories. Uh, definitely, <clears throat> definitely my cat Bingo. Like, <laughs> like he was goofy as it sounds. He was like my best friend. He was like, oh, how old was he? I want to say he's like 15 years old. He much like he was the coolest cat. Just, like spent a lot of time like with my friends over the summer, like biking everywhere, like along the canal and the herring run, and just being goofs <laughs> like, yeah. like you know just playing like playing video games playing outside just doing mm -hmm. whatever you know because it's like summer so you just enjoy it yeah yeah like when, when i when i was living down in florida going to full sail i, I went actually i went down there with one of my friends from high school his name is roger and we were we were both going for the same degree and he actually stuck with it down oh, there wow. and, like, and like got his degree he graduated in april i want to say oh, april wow. and june are your parents still like a really big part of your life? Yeah, definitely. My my parents like I owe them so much. Yeah. <laughs> like they they constantly just took me like all of my music lessons, mm -hmm. all of like all of, they were always at my performances for anything. Yeah, they're they're constantly just wicked supportive of me. Like they're they're supportive of me like going down to go to Florida and then like five months later like okay this sucks I want to come back and they're like okay you want to do this and I was like yeah and I'm like all right they said like they supported me and then they're like now what are you gonna do <laughs> and I was like um community college and I was like uh, I don't really want to do this I will move out and <laughs> and I will work my ass off and I will make music and they were like they they were still very supportive of that and yeah if I ever need anything like they're always there for me like they are the two like biggest people in my life yeah. really and one day I will be taking care of them <laughs> I was involved with like I, I was a band geek yeah just through and through like the best days and just surrounded by band geeks I was like oh, <laughs> this is sick there's a bunch of people that know all of the music I know and they understand that we're just weird as fuck yeah yeah like and my like I said my senior year it was like band, chorus, music theory. I took web design, theater, uh -huh. and then we had like the competition theater stuff that we would do. Well, no, that's what the class was for, but like that, then there was like drama club mm -hmm. is what I did. And, like there was drama club and after that there was festival. And then like I took English and business math and that was my senior year. <laughs> Have you gone through anything traumatic that you're okay with talking about? I mean, this recently was giving me like the most stress is like my mom, uh, they found out like cancer in her nose, like it was uh, skin cancer, and like she she got surgery to remove it, mm -hmm. and like she's fine now. But like that was just real stressful. It was like oh, shit, my mom has like cancer. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like my grandfather has that too. It's off and on. My mom has um, colitis, which like affects her stomach and like what she can eat and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like. I mean, it obviously probably sucks. <laughs> I mean, I don't have it, but I can only imagine that it's horrible. My family's just, they are the reason why I'm just such a goof, honestly, because like, I, like, like they all just have the attitude of, like, you know, it's a shitty situation, just make the best of it. But like, <laughs> we're all just wicked silly. She's, both of, both my grandmother and my grandfather are just, <laughs> They're, they're so important to me because, like, again, I spent a lot of time with them over yeah. those summers, so they definitely have made a big impression on my life and how I am today. When I look at them, they're, like, the most adorable couple ever. Mm -hmm. and it's like, like I, I, want, I, I want that because <laughs> they're, they're so adorable. Have you gone through any, like, emotional trauma? 
I mean, the most recent thing that would be like emotional trauma was like back in April, like my first like real serious girlfriend and I like broke up and then. But yeah, so like just the long distance thing was just real stressful in itself. Like, I, like it was because that was when I first moved out here. Mm -hmm. Is when that happened. Kind of, it was like I moved out here a couple months after she went to school. Okay. I feel like she was really dependent on me being there for her, mm -hmm. and the fact that you know I was just living here and you know I had like work. I was doing stuff with the band, and then like if ever I was home and like tired, I just wanted to like sleep or you know just yeah. relax, and not not have to do anything. Text or message or like Skype, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I mean, yeah. like that was just like, I don't know, it just put a lot of stress on the relationship, and that's why it ended. So. How would you tell somebody who's going through a first breakup to. First breakup? Yeah, how, <laughs> how did you handle it, and how would you either have done the same or like maybe do something different? I don't know, like. It's, it's weird because everyone's different like you know you just have, it, everything is based on people's personalities so like for some people like if they need to have like that final talk to like sort things out mm -hmm. then I guess that's good that can work for some people for yeah. me it's just like it's over it's yeah, done, yeah like it's done like I don't want to like just keep digging into that wound you know yeah but like the, like Tom said earlier like it'll it'll get better but it's all on you to like make it better in a sense I mean like you know it sounds kind of like it's kind of like a backhanded statement like like you're in a shitty situation and it's like well I mean it's on you to make it better mm -hmm. like and when you're hearing that and you're in the shitty situation it's like kind of sucks to hear it but yeah yeah. It's like you have to find a way to just like pick yourself back up and get back into the groove of things. Again, like you said, like to figure out how to be like comfortable like on your own and not dependent on someone else emotionally. So I mean like that was that was really therapeutic. So like I, again it just all goes back to music for me really. Like yeah. everything is like music just helps. If Bottom Fed ever withered out, what would you well, again, <laughs> bottom fed forever. Forever. <laughs> bottom fed till the casket. <laughs> but um, definitely still do something with music because, like I said the other day, like music is the one thing that's like I like genuinely good at and mm -hmm. like have put all of my time into. Yeah. I I definitely try to find. It, like, if Bottom Fred were ever to not be a band, I'd definitely try and find another group of, like, awesome musicians to, like, make music with, because, like, I can't not be making music. Like, it just feels, like, empty. Yeah. 